All right, peace family. So today I have a lot of things that we need to get in the ground. I am extremely behind schedule this season. I have 200 tulip bulbs that I need to get in the ground. I am behind, I would say, probably a couple months <laughs> of getting these in the ground, but we're not gonna fret, we're not gonna fuss. Um, I have 200 tulip bulbs that I'm gonna get in the ground. I ordered um, these from the flower farmer. Um, I'll put her name on the screen. I, I can't think. I think it's called Flower Hill Farm. I think it's her YouTube. She sponsored a collection, a joint collection with a, um, a tulip farmer or producer. And the name of that farm is called C&J Farm. And so I ordered these. Let me see if there's a date on here. June 1st, 2022. But they just came in um, a couple months ago. They came in in like, uh, I wanna say December. So I should have put them in the ground there then, but I do not like the cold. And I make every excuse to not come outside when it's cold. I do it to myself every year. This is um, my first time using this. Um, but I read some reviews and I saw a couple other gardeners doing using this so we're gonna try that I'm bring you over here and show you the ground that I've already broken up my in-ground garden behind this fence and I thought it would be really lovely to have a little hedge of tulips right here at the entry of my in-ground garden I'm just gonna get this soil kind of evenly distributed in this little bed.
All right, family, so I'm going to do a voiceover here. Um, my mom came and was talking to me, and I really forgot to just show what I was doing. Um, but the main thing is whenever you're planting a bulb, you want to plant the pointy side facing up. So you want the flat side to go down into the dirt. That's where the roots are gonna come out. When you plant a tulip bulb, you wanna plant it um, at least like six inches deep. You'll see that um, I'm taking some of the dirt here and putting it on top of the bulbs. And then I go back with my rake and do a nice thick layer over the bulbs. So I'm setting them down in the soil that I laid from the bag, the happy frog soil. And then I'm also covering them with additional native soil. And so that's the main thing. You wanna make sure that you plant them nice and deep and that the pointy side is up. I do apologize for not actually showing you that in real time, but that is the um, magic of a voiceover. Uh -huh.